All right, guys, so quick uh, update for you. 2022 Pioneer 1000 on six inch portals um, with stock arms. So uh, we already previously knew that this upper ball joint was different and I had to install a 2021 upper ball joint because my arm is updated. Um, and I also we also know that the, the nut that goes into the portal onto the factory axle shaft is different. We had to get some custom nuts made. Um, this is what the stock nuts look like. And those, those were the two main things that we noticed that were different when you're trying to run 2021 portals on a 2022 Pioneer. These are the factory nuts uh, from Super ATV. They have to get bored out and retapped for the larger thread on the 2022s. Well, we just realized the third thing, three things, that is different um, when considering a 2022. So this tie rod end is beefed up big time. Well, it also has a different taper dimension inside there. So you see these extra two washers sitting on top of this nut? If you don't stack some washers there, the nut will bottom out on the end of the threads of the ball joint before it provides um, substantial clamping force to fully seat this ball joint. So yesterday before I went out, I noticed that both of my nuts had backed off and were sitting against the cotter pin. Um, all I had to do was stack some washers on top of it once I realized what was going on, tighten it down, and it rode good like that all day. So if you're going to put portals on your 2022, um, you really want to make sure you put some spacers, you can see it on this side too, put some spacers on top of that nut, otherwise you could have a dangerous steering situation on your hand. Um, also, it'll destroy this part of your portal back plate. Um, it'll get wallered out. Luckily, I caught it as soon as it happened, and I think mine's going to be okay. Um, you can order just this piece because you see it, it bolts on right there. So I could replace that um, if I wanted to. Now, the other obvious solution would be just, oh, why don't you just run 2021 tie rods? Um, they're, they're pretty weak, and I'd like to keep these tie rods because it's a really good upgrade. Um, and I couldn't just swap the end. I think I'd have to take probably put the whole um, 2021 piece from here into the rack. And that's a lot, uh, losing a lot of strength. So hopefully this holds up. If it doesn't, I'll probably get some heavy duty tie rods from Texas Tough Customs. Now, if you buy the Texas Tough Custom lift, uh, they're three inch forward arms, and you tell them you're gonna run portals, they will set all this up for you. They'll give you the right ball joint, um, they'll give you the right tie rod end, and you're good to go. Um, and then all you need is the portal nuts from Rich. Um, so the reason this keeps happening is because Honda, know, Honda knew that the Talon had a better front end than the Pioneer, so they swapped over a lot of Talon stuff when they upgraded the 2022. And I'm really glad they did that. Um, Super ATV just needs to make a new set of portals for the 2022 and we won't have any of these issues. But um, some things that are now Talon on here, so this is a Talon style tie rod. Um, those are Talon style bushings up there. Um, there was a Talon ball joint right here. So they really did beef up the front of the Pioneer. Um, one other thing, just in case you have a Talon, um, the tie rod is different for 2022 Talon as well. And so is the knuckle. So I went through and crafted all the part numbers trying to figure this out. And all the 2022 side-by-sides do have new part numbers for their tie rods and their knuckles. So it's not like um, you could probably, what I was thinking was maybe I could get a Talon um, back plate right here and try to swap this one from a Talon. I don't know that it would be any better because they're, they're both different part numbers. So as long as this washer fix holds up, I think that's the way to go. If I have any more issues with it, I'll certainly let you guys know. Everything else on the front end seems tight after a few hard rides. Um, really put it in a bind yesterday and beat on it. This tire was totally buried in a hole with some ruts and uh, nothing tweaked. So you can tell nothing tweaked if you can look at the gap between your arms and when it all looks good and symmetrical, that's a pretty good sign that nothing tweaked. Obviously look for paint chipping off near your welds and your tabs and stuff too. So I'm not running frame stiffeners. I just torque the heck out of these four bolts and nuts and this thing's been really solid. I think Honda did a good job um, on this beef up up here, having having double shear tabs on both sides. So that's the update. Uh, hopefully, it saves you guys some trouble. And uh, just keep an eye on keep an eye on those tie rod ends if you do portals.